It has never been easier to get started creating apps quickly than when you use FileMaker Pro 19. If you're new to the FileMaker platform, you can be up and running by snapping together predefined apps with some additional add-on features to get the custom app that you've always wanted without any of the behind the scenes work. So the first thing that you'll notice is that every template has a dashboard. In addition to the add-on on each dashboard, you'll also notice these aggregated numbers. In this case, this gives us a, a cumulative count of how many upcoming events there are, how many tasks, and how many registrations within a certain day period. When you click on these, then you'll get to what we call list view. You'll notice that each list view is grouped, and in this case, the found count of two records matches the aggregate value that we saw over on the dashboard. And you'll see that same pattern in all of the different templates. In addition to the dashboard, every one of the templates also has a setup screen. This is where you can customize the templates with your own logo. You can enter in all of your own company information. And this is also where you can update some of the template specific settings. You may also know that each one of the templates is already populated with sample data, which is a great way to test out the templates, but you can get rid of all that sample data very easily by going under setup and selecting delete all records. You can also manually delete all records from each table or save the template itself as a copy as a clone. If we take a look at the file manage database, you'll notice that you have several different templates set up and you'll notice on the bottom that you're going to have some tables that are named after whatever the add-on is that's integrated. You can make any modification that you want to any of the tables or fields. Anything that you'd like is completely modifiable. And you'll notice within the tables that are already created that you have your default fields just like you do in any other table. And you also have human readable, easy to understand field names. And the fields have been intelligently selected to represent the most common fields found in event apps. And that same logic applies to all the other templates. You can add your own fields, remove or edit the existing ones in any way that you like. The other benefit of the templates is their very simple to understand relationship graph. You'll notice that you've got a collection of these tables here. Those are the ones that serve the add-ons that are integrated. And here you have something called an admin table. And then everything else is a very simple one-to-many, easy to understand relationship graph. No complexity here, and particularly approachable for those that are new to the platform. If we go to the events detail layout, you can see that both layouts have been designed to work as two column hybrid for both desktop, web direct, and iPads without any modification. And each of the detail views is set up as a master detail. So you'll see on the left hand side that we've got this navigation portal allowing you to go from record to record. And then you can use the quick find within the portal to quickly find records that you're looking for. And then you can reset to the entire found set. And if you want to look at the records in a list view, you just hit the expand button in any of the master detail layouts. Each of the expand views or list views are grouped and you'll notice in this case these are grouped by status of active and canceled for example. Back in the detail view, You'll also notice these expand icons. These will bring up card windows at various different places within your workflow. And card windows are now supported in WebDirect. So the same layout that works on desktop and iPad will now also work on WebDirect in 19. Now if you open up these templates on your iPhone using FileMaker Go, they'll take you to automatically created iOS layouts. So you'll notice here under phone that each template has its own story and they have layouts that are optimized just for the iPhone. So if you open up these templates on FileMaker Go, they will automatically detect that they've been opened on the iPhone and take the user to the beginning of the iOS workflow. If you go inside the script workspace, you'll notice that every script is fully documented and not just developer documentation, documentation that's intended to describe what the script is doing. So for example, Everyone will begin with a purpose, like you see here in lines one through five. It explains what the purpose of the script is. And then anytime a calculation function is used, like in row 10, you'll see a description of what the function does and all of its potential outputs. And we've even included tips. If you look at row 49, you'll see that this is a tip. So anytime we found an opportunity to accelerate your learning, we made sure to comment those inside these scripts. 
I strongly recommend that you check out all of the nine different templates and tour examples of the dozen or so embedded add-ons and the brand new custom theme. I'm proud to say that I was personally involved in designing every one of these new themes. I audited each new feature to make sure that it wasn't too confusing for new learners, and I was thinking about this very course when I was making those decisions. I'm very proud of the final product, and very proud of my team who developed these here at iSolutions. I hope you enjoy them and find them to be a valuable tool in your learning journey.